Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Allison, if you're new here. If you're not new here, then hi. <laughs> um, what's up? So, um, this video, I want it to be short, but I have a feeling it's not going to be. Um, I made a couple, I made some purchases that I'm actually, like, I couldn't, they couldn't have been more synchronistic. They were incredibly just, oh my god. Um, so I finally found an Oracle deck for Mary that I've been looking for for a while. Um, I currently use and probably will continue to use forever and ever, um, the Vintage Wisdom Oracle deck I use for messages. I, I connect this one strongly to Lilith. Um, it's just that right amount of moody and dark, and of course this isn't the deck, this is just the box. I brought it out from my room because I wanted to display the box too. Um, the Oracle deck is actually on my altar. But I love the style of cards, the collage work, the way they're, um, the, the, just the, the color palette, everything to me just screams Lilith for some reason. Um, and I had that Oracle deck, I believe, before I even started working with Lilith, so whatever. Um, and I, I've been trying to, like, shoehorn the Oracle decks I already have, because I I don't know about you guys, but I prefer to work with Oracle decks with Deity as opposed to Tarot. Um, I don't have as strong a connection to Tarot right now. I'm working on it. I'm doing my uh, Fool's Journey, you know, uh, as I've been recording and um, I think the, um, you know, the High Priestess is coming up here soon. But anyway, uh, so I'm working on my connection with the Tarot, but it's slow and steady oracle decks because I'm so visual and I there's no real system to oracle decks for the most part it's more of the artwork um, is where I connect with it the most so I, I have the the moon ology yeah the moon ology oracle deck I tried to use that with Mary it didn't really work as well as I wanted it to um, and I have some other like some uh, Jasmine Beckett Griffith decks that um, I've tried as well, but none of nothing was nothing was working, nothing was fitting, nothing seemed right. And then I was just I was looking for something on Amazon. Oh, I had actually purchased because I collect Kim Kranz, which you'll see here in a moment. Um, I collect Kim Kranz's um, decks. And I found a, I saw the pocket tarot for the wild unknown and I was just completely chuffed. And um, yeah, it's just, it's tiny, it's perfect, I love it. I carry it in my bag and um, always have it. I've always wanted a pocket, pocket tarot. I also have a pocket rider weight um, like the universal weight because I couldn't find a regular one unfortunately in my um, local witchy shop but um, the universal weight is very it's incredibly close but again I'm still trying to kind of work with the or, or the tarot deck so I, I like this one because it's got the book pocket size already um, the little white book that comes with that uh, universal weight tarot. I don't really like those, so I have another book. Anyway, <laughs> I keep that one on my altar for now while my uh, Rider weight tarot deck is currently being used for my project here. So that was a long-winded way of saying that I found the Rose Oracle <laughs> by Rebecca Campbell and now, I, I already have opened it and looked and cracked into it, and I'm telling you now, I've never cried opening a deck before because it couldn't be more serendipitous. Um, the, the box is beautiful, beautiful. I will keep it forever. 
just like the um, Vintage Wisdom Oracle deck. I'm going to keep it on display. It says plant yourself here inside both lids. It's pretty cool. Um, I started cracking into the book already at work today on one of my breaks. Um, I started reading and uh, man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I can't wait. I, I, this deck is, this is not a review by any stretch of the imagination. I just want you to know that, but I'm just showing you <laughs> the beauty of this deck. If you haven't already, um, looked into it because especially if you work with mother Mary, um, I know she's traditionally from the Catholic tradition and, um, I was born and raised Catholic and I never had a connection with Mary, but, um, there's a lot of reasons for that and, um, I might get into that in another, in another video, probably later, but, um, it has this attunement which it's basically a prayer to bless the oracle deck each and every time you use it and i'm putting this in my grimoire <laughs> i'm putting this in my um my lilith my book of blood and bone my big one it's going with a Mary page when I get to another one for sure and funnily enough I actually wrote um, a prayer for both it, it's to be read for both Mary and Lilith because I personally see them as two sides of the same coin in a lot of ways this is just my personal experience and my personal gnosis and um, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Experiences? No, that's gnosis. Um, just my personal thoughts and the way that I connect the dots, you know, just my, the way my brain thinks. So I use rose for both of them. I also use amber for Lilith, but I use rose for both because for me, I mean, Mary has the rosary, um, that kind of thing, like, the, she just, which I don't have mine anymore. I don't know what happened to mine from my first Holy Communion when I was 10. <laughs> it's long gone, but it was pretty, and I liked it, and I wanted, you know, I just don't know what happened to it. Lost in the shuffle, I guess. Ow. Uh, excuse me. But I've already shuffled this deck. I've already tried to use it a little bit, played around with it. I was going to go th through every single one but it was dark and I was tired. So I was just like, just kind of thumbing through them, but just the names of the cards, the, let's see if I can find the first one. Oh my God, like look at this, the sun. I cannot wait to path work with this deck. This is a perfect deck for that. Oh my god. Um, oh, here it is. Okay, so this was the first card I pulled yesterday. Just out of nowhere. Just, you know. And it was the Great Mother. Look at that. Sorry if you're not in focus. I'm not quite sure if my phone's doing that. Just beautiful, moody and dark, and the 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 sacred. Just the the chalice and vagina imagery, and the sacred feminine stuff, and I'm just I'm all about it. Um, I. Oh man, I just I'm gonna have to probably follow up. 
make a follow-up video on this deck after I've played with it and worked with it for a while. Let's see what messages I get from it because, oh man, I just cannot get enough of this. Just, just looking at it alone, and I'm not a huge pink person by any stretch of the imagination, but I will deck myself out in this color pink for real because it's just... Clearly, I like the green, but but the, the pink, I, man, I, I don't know. This deck is just beautiful. And then, so that was the first deck that I got emotional over. There was a second deck that I bought, which I wasn't planning on getting two. I was only planning on getting this one, actually. And it was, uh, because Kim Kranz is my favorite. <laughs> I actually have the box right here. And I have, so far, I have all of her, all of her decks. I've got the, um, the Wild Unknown Tarot. I've got, um, the Pocket one. I have the, Archetype deck, the Animal Spirit Oracle, and now I have this one, the Alchemy deck, which... I didn't know existed. I didn't know she was working on it. I, I follow her on um, my witchy Instagram, but I've, I'm i rarely on that one, to be honest with you. My art account is more my main account, so I usually, usually will look at that one before I look at my witchy account. But, oh, this is just the box. I love the boxes. I keep them all. Well, most of them. I don't know if I have the Wild Unknown. But I, I kept, oh, I'm keeping this one. I love it so much. Oh my God, I love it. It's just right up my alley. The hexagonal cards are wonderful. I love the weird shapes. So like the circle deck, the archetype deck, I love that one. I'm actually considering doing a reading with them both together to see how that plays out. Um, I don't know, I've, I've kind of been disconnected from a lot of my cards for a long time just because of other things going on in my brain and family stuff and cycle breaking and all of the things that come along with um, mental health issues. So um, I, yeah, anyway. Um, I've been disconnected from my cards for a long time, but I think th this one, I'm getting back into them, let's just put it that way, but as far as like collecting goes, I mean, I'm probably done for a while, <laughs> but the these two are, oh my god, this, this one though, like, so I just discovered um, a podcast called Know Thyself. By just discovered, I mean like within the last month or so. Um, and I'm into, I'm almost caught up to where they are now. They started in 2020 and it's all about alchemy and personal alchemy and all of this stuff. And this couldn't be more perfect because I'm, I've, been learning through this podcast all about all of these things like calcification, calcination, calcification, whatever you want to call it. They call it calcination, but I guess it doesn't matter. The sun, oh man. They've been just, oh man, ether, the void, it's just a black card, wow. Um, And Kim Kranz just freaking nails it with her illustrations. And then um, I also have the, the guidebook is right here. Her beefy ass guidebooks. I just love them so much. They're like their own little novels. Um, they're amazing. And I'm just, I'm here for it. Like, I'm just so enthralled with both of these decks and I'm I'm I just had had to gush to you guys about it a little bit because even though not many people watch my channel <laughs> right now um 
and this is just like a little journal. I kind of am excited for these and I really want to dive deep and continue my personal alchemy journey with these decks and incorporate the other ones that I already own. Um, you know, like really taking the time to isolate each card from the Major Arcana of the Tarot deck has really been changing my life. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm choosing to look at the world a little bit differently because of the energy of the card that I'm looking at at the moment. Um, like right now it's the High Priestess, so like there's a lot of feminine and like goddess energy coming from that card and um, just trying to evoke that into my everyday life which is something I've always struggled to do, um, has been really beneficial for my mental health and my life in general and the way I see the world and my whatever. Um, and I'm really hoping and excited to see where I go with these two new decks in my arsenal because, um, yeah, I'm just... I'm excited and, and the, the decks that I'm, I might do a deck tour, um, but the decks that I'm really kind of disconnected with, I might maybe modify or try to do that. I've got a lot of, a lot, <laughs> I've got a lot of art projects that I need to kind of get in order before I decide to add another one to the list, but that might be something to consider in the future, so I don't know. But yeah, that's... These are, I guess, first impressions of these two decks, but I've never had, I've never A, connected with decks so immediately, and B, I've never gotten emotional. I've never gotten emotional over viewing a deck. And these two decks, I did. <laughs> because, I mean, I threw them in my cart and was like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll grab these. Um, I like threw them in there like maybe, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago and then I finally decided to pull the trigger and get, um, I got a couple of other items with them so it wasn't like I just got the two decks. I was like waiting for the right time and yada yada yada. And oh, I don't know. The connection there is just too too perfect for it to be a coincidence let's just put it that way but yeah so i i'm gonna stop gushing about these two decks right now <laughs> and um i will i might see i might see what happens um yeah so um, I'm sorry, I'm babbling now and my train of thought's getting all messed up and blurky, so, um, yeah, I will talk to you guys in another video soon. <laughs> I hope you guys had a great day. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!